Hello guys, welcome to Tech Buys. Today we have uh, the Sony CB1. We are reviewing the, the camera today. Uh, we have uh, the unboxing video. I'm gonna leave that uh, link over here. If you want to see that video, you can uh, click there. Uh, remember, if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe and everything that we are talking about on this video. If you are interested in any item, I'm going to leave all the links on the description below. So, what we have, we have uh, the, uh, well, they claim that is uh, the best blogging camera or the best camera for uh, YouTube or people that do vlogs. I'm sorry for the wind, it's a very windy day. So, it is the best camera for blogging. I don't know. Uh, let's talk about the lens. The lens is uh, a 24 millimeter to 70 millimeter. So some people claim that is uh, it's get really close to your face. Maybe yes. Right now I have the uh, let me see. I have the camera in my hand. So this is how the 24 millimeter uh, looks like. But it can get better if you use a selfie stick like I'm doing right now. I'm using a selfie stick so I can get the f like this. So you can get more into your frame. It's a little bit uh, wider this way. It's going to affect your audio because the audio is going to sound uh, better if you're close to the camera. but. Uh, if you won't need to show something else into your frame, you can use a self stick. It's not that bad. So let me know in the comments that the 24 millimeters is something that is going to affect your decision if you are thinking about the buying this camera or not. It is a really good camera, and this lens is not that bad. So let me know in the comments if uh, this is. Uh, too close or is a good lens to block? Let me know. Now let's talk about the another feature that this camera has is called soft skin. Skin is uh, like the beauty mode on your cell phone. Is uh, it's not something that I want to use, uh, but personally because of the type of video, the kind of video that I uh, do, this is not something that is going to work for me. Maybe for other people it's going to be good. I have three labels, so uh, levels is uh, off, or counting the off is going to be four. Uh, so off is how it is right now. We have the low the medium and the high. For me, as I say, it's not something that I want to use, but the low, it doesn't look that bad. Medium is acceptable, but the high looks really fake. So let me know in the comments if this is something that you want to use. And the filter. This is something really good that this camera has is a embedded ND filter so it's inside the camera so you don't need to put a, a physical uh, filter in your lens. It's going to, you, you have to press a button and you can activate the ND filter. It is good for the bright environment so it's going to, ND filter is like a sunglasses for, for your camera so for your lens. So it's going to look better. If this too bright, you can activate the ND filter and your photos is gonna look better. Let's talk about the red light the indicator. It is uh, it has a LED red light in the front of the camera so it indicates when you are recording. Uh, it happens to me sometimes with uh, different cameras, even with the cell phone that uh, not on selfie mode and if you are recording with the back 
uh, camera, the main camera. Uh, sometimes you believe uh, or think that you are recording and when you finish you have about uh, five minutes uh, talking to the camera and then you realize that you never press the record button. So on this camera it's good that it has a, a red light uh, LED indicator so you are sure that if that light is on it's because it's recording. So good. Good for that Sonny. Now let's talk about uh, one of the main reasons why this camera is uh, the one of the best cameras for YouTube or for blogging. It's really windy today, so I have the deck cat on, so maybe that's going to be a, a good test. But talking about the autofocus, right now I can see on the screen that is uh, looking in see my eye is a uh, square tracking my eye even I'm wearing the sunglasses but anyway it's tracking my eye even with the sunglasses on and and always in focus and if I move the camera and always in focus I, I don't have to even if I, I, I'm watching myself on the, on the screen and I see the square tracking my eye and I know I'm in focus but if I have the the screen closed. I don't have to worry and be uh, like I don't know if I'm in focus or not. With this camera, you always wanna be sure that you are in focus. Besides that, it has a uh, two uh, modes that there are big uh, features on inside the focus area in this camera one is a, a defocus and the defocus has a, a dedicated button on the, on the top so let me check if uh, you can use that right now if you see the background there let me press the defocus uh, button and now I don't know if you notice it's a little bit blurry and that's only with the presence of, of a button on the, on the camera so that's really really nice so you don't have to worry about the settings on the camera right now I have everything on auto and with the touch of a button here in the camera you can blur your background and look more professional or clear the background just touching or clicking a button uh, dedicated button on the camera so that's great that's one of the main selling points of this camera let me take that off yeah right now it is off the other uh, focus uh, point of this camera is a uh, the defocus I just show you that and the product showcase what is the product showcase is a uh, Honestly, it was uh, one of the reasons why I bought this camera for my channel. Why? Because uh, it's a tech channel with uh, uh, reviews and uh, tech talk about products and well, we're showing something to the camera. Let me activate that mode right now so you can uh, know why I'm talking about this. Hold on a second. Okay, now the showcase, the pro showcase is on. So I'm gonna put something in front of the, in front of the lens, and it's going to focus on that product just because I'm showing that in front of the lens. So something like you see that. Even if my face is on the frame, it focuses on the the product that I'm showing in front of the camera. So before with Canon cameras or even with other Sony cameras you can do the same but you have to block your face so you can focus on the product that you are showing in front of the camera. With this uh, product showcase mode you only have to 
show the product in front of the camera and it's going to focus uh, ultimately into the product. For me, I, I didn't know that I won that feature until I saw in an uh, Sony ZV-1 and that was uh, one of the main reasons why I bought this camera for my channel. Is this uh, something that you can use and this is going to be a reason why you're going to use this camera for the channel? Let me know. Let me know in the comments and uh, let me know what you think about these two focus areas, uh, new areas that uh, Sony is putting inside this camera. The focus and the product showcase. Which one was uh, the best or which one do you think you can use on your channel more? Let me know in the comments. Now let's talk about uh, slow motion. With this camera you have uh, different settings. Um, 240 frames per second, 480 and 960 I believe. And the 240 looks great. The 480 is still usable. You can use that on a, on a project or on a video if you want to still looking good uh, but the 960 is good to have it on as an option but the quality is not that good it's uh, honestly it's bad but uh, if you want to play around it's, it's good it's not bad if you want to uh, play you not know, to use it on one of your videos because the quality is not that good so but at least you have it Okay, now let's talk about something that is very important if you're going to be blogging with this camera is uh, the steady shock that's how sony called the stabilization and right now it's off um i see it's a little bit shaky and this mode the steady shock on off is good because it's not cropping your image your frame and but it's good if you're going to be uh with the camera mounted on the tripod so you don't gonna be moving the camera around so your video can have more uh, more stable it's a little bit shaky right now let me change that to on right now is in the standard it has improved the stabilization a little bit it, didn't crop the image too much but still better than off so now let me change it to active so you can uh, see the difference okay now we have uh, the steady shock or the stabilization on active mode as you can see he's a little bit cropped this he cropped the image a little bit but if you are going to be like me right now walking with the camera moving around with the, the camera even if you have a soft stick if you're not using a gimbal it's better to have this on even if the, it crops a little bit the, the image because the, your footage is going to look much better with this on and inactive okay, something good about this camera is exposure if you see me right now it's going to take a few seconds but my face is going to be exposed all the time, even if the light around me change. Now we are on a bridge and the light's not good, but my face is still exposed. And now we are out of the bridge and still there, even if the, the light around me change that's great if you want to blog or you want to use the camera like me where you are walking and the light is going to change uh, constantly uh, and that's not good because uh, uh, if the light change and your face is not exposed uh, people are going to uh, be looking something else but not your face so if you are blogging this is the best way to do it and Sony 
has uh, this feature and it's great that's something that is simply great now let's talk about the audio we've been using the internal microphone the entire video since the beginning of this video and you can see that is is good it's really windy today it has a dead cat on the whole video because it's really windy I don't know if you can see the tree is moving it's really really windy I don't know if you can feel that on the on the footage because uh, I'm recording right now I don't have a way to monitor the, the, the audio but it's good it's good and let me take off the, the dead cat so you can feel the difference between the internal microphone with the the dead cat and without let me take that off okay now I have the dead cat in my hand I'm not using it and I'm not really sure if you can feel the difference uh, with the without the dead cat is uh, windy I don't know if you can feel that for sure you're gonna feel that and then I'm going to put this back on and let me know in the comments if the, you're able to feel the difference between the dead cat on and off. Let me know okay. the size. The size of this camera is one of the biggest uh, advantage. Why? You can put it in your pocket. You can do that with a, a DSLR or other mirrorless cameras. Uh, is a uh, a great size for a travel camera or if you want to uh, take this camera out for party or dinner uh, family reunion just it's a great size uh, you can close this camera put it on your pocket and you always gonna have a, a great camera on your hands and your pocket that you can use your cell phone for that yes but it has a a sensor a little bit bigger and your image is gonna be better than with a cell phone so one of the biggest advantages of this camera is the size and oh well, I think we cover almost everything that we have to say about this camera remember if you want this camera or you're interested in this camera you can go to the links so in the description below and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet please do so click the subscribe button give us one of these and click the bell so you can get notified when we uh, upload a new video so thank you for watching and see you in the next one